I'm buying stock. I'm on the mirror trade right now. Is that where you go to buy stock? <laughs> and uh, hey, I log it in, and I'm like, oh, access granted. And I'm looking at where in the Eastern Conference I should buy some stock. And look at those Brooklyn Nets, because KD's back. Shout out to KD and Ice Cube. KD, baby! For all y'all old West Coast hip-hop heads out there. KD has been to the conference finals when healthy the last five seasons and seven of the last eight seasons. That's 88%, y'all. 88% of the times, KD's going to start the regular season and you can almost book it. He's going to be in the conference finals. And in the Eastern Conference, that doesn't look as strong as the Western Conference. Hell yeah, I'm going there. Now, let's talk about that coaching staff. You brought up the coach. And let's talk about first-year head coaches. Um, how did it fare for the first-year head coach, Nick Nurse, in Toronto? Hmm. How, what about the Cleveland Cavaliers and their first-year head coach when Tyron Lue was there? Hmm. What about the Golden State Warriors when they had Steve Kerr? Hmm. What about going way back to Pat Riley? So first-year head coaches can still succeed at the highest level. I'm killing you, Slick, right now. I can see it in your face. And if you don't just love KD like I love KD, who I think, when healthy, is the best player in the NBA. As Steve Kerr even said, watching him play in the preseason, I couldn't tell the difference between him the other night and 18 months ago pre Injury, you got to love Kyrie Irving if you don't love you some KD. Kyrie Irving, one of the six players in the last four years to average over 24 points a game and six assists. Only six in the entire NBA. James Harden, he good. Damian Lillard, he good. Russell Westbrook, he good. LeBron, Steph Curry, and Kyrie. You got a problem with that? <laughs> you got a problem with me because I can see them in the Eastern Conference Finals. Well, Sal, I'm going to hit you with two quick jabs, and then I'm going to tag uh, Slick Rick in to come in here and hopefully oh, give you a finishing punch. Um, first, let me talk about Kyrie because it's a two-man team. Let me talk about one that is Kyrie. Um, 2018, Kyrie goes to the Celtics, and we're like, okay, Kyrie, let's see what you about to do without Bron Bron. We know what you and Bron accomplished together, but now it's time for you to be Batman, not Robin. When Kyrie gets hurt in 2018, the Celtics still advance to the Eastern Conference Finals. Okay, but now 2019, now the Celtics got Kyrie back. He healthy. Let's see what he going to do. But then Kyrie plays in the playoffs and the Celtics lose in the Eastern Conference semis. Okay, Kyrie, go on to Brooklyn. Go on to the Nets. Surely the Celtics will be worse without you. But wait, then the Celtics go back to the Eastern Conference Finals. Wait a second, Marcellus. How were the Nets actually Worse last year record-wise with Kyrie than without Kyrie. I'm no mathematician. I did not go to Columbia. I, I promise oh, you yeah, that. I didn't get accepted. I didn't apply. But <laughs> it's really very simple to say, wait a second. All these teams, at least within the last three to four years, had better team success without Kyrie than they did with Kyrie. Now, if we're talking about KD, Sal, again. Very I'm going to go into the nuances of KD. He's a Texas alum. He didn't graduate, but he went there. So, uh, <laughs> so I'm not going to go in too hard on KD, but all I'm going to say is this. You can't say much. KD, when he had Steph, you saw what happened. Oh, don't do that. But Without KD, right. when he didn't, like, it's not like he was overcoming LeBron James. And if I'm talking about buying stock, I'm trying to buy stock in someone who's going to win a chip. I'm not buying stock in these Brooklyn Nets because, sir, they just not going to win a chip. Stop. Weak. Weak. Uh, Acho, thank you for leaving me a little bit. Marcellus, a you're wearing a suit that is made for hunting Easter eggs, not <laughs> cherry picking. And yet that is exactly what you did. Damn! That coaching thing was really inspired, man. Hey, I, I love that. That, <laughs> that first year coach thing about kind of ignoring the fact that they all Andy. walked into already made teams. I, it was good. I liked it. What? No, I'm not buying I am not buying stock in, in the Nets. And it's not that it's not good stock. It's that it's overvalued stock. Mm, I don't know okay. if you guys were aware, but 2019 was terrible for IPOs. Mm -hmm. And Uber was the number one example. And it's not that Uber didn't do well when it went public. It just didn't do as well as expected. And Marcellus, mm -hmm. you set the bar winning the East and I look at what the Nets are at this point with a brand new coach and basically a rebuilt team. And when you talk about all the times that KD went, he went to the conference finals all those times, 88%. But ultimately, did he do it 
with leadership around him mm. other than with mm. Kyrie. Oh. So mm. that is where ultimately I asked the question, was that all KD? And no, are sir. these circumstances exactly the same no, sir, not. as the last time that he went to the final or went to the conference finals? Yeah. They're not. So do I think they're going to be good? Yes. Sure. Do I think they're going to live up to expectations? KD and Kyrie, the artiste, are the two best closers in the Eastern Conference. But as we know, if you're going to win the conference, you need to have more than just that. Oh, my dog Slick. I'm Man, so glad you came Ooh. with a fire take, Slick. <laughs> because you're exactly right. What it comes down to is very simple, Marcellus. First right. off, who is Kyrie without LeBron? Let's, let's, let's make that abundantly and unequivocally clear. A puppy. He was a puppy. Who is he? No, he no, 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 Because you have a 70% winning percentage with LeBron. You had a 35% winning percentage before LeBron shows up. And you got a 58% winning percentage after you leave LeBron. So, like, let's put in context who exactly this man Kyrie is. Thank Please. you. And then to Slick's point, it's like you got to remember in sports at all times, things go bad. Things don't always go as you plan in game, in season, out of season, whatever the case may be. Who do you have from a team standpoint that's going to rally the troops? Kyrie. Like, is Kyrie the player that you expect to galvanize the team? KD. Is KD the player that you expect to galvanize the team? Kyrie self-admittedly got burner accounts. Kyrie self-admittedly still think the world is flat. So I'm just not sure that I'm going to look to these two elite basketball players to be elite leaders when you know firsthand it has more to do with how well you can dribble, how well you can shoot, how well you can get a bucket if damn. you can get a chip. I didn't know you were a Hall of Fame voter in the NFL because you sound like the same damn old school curmudgeon who no. kept T.O. first ballot off. Second ballot off had to be a third ballot Hall of Famer despite having top three numbers all the time. You know why? Because you start going into off-the-field behavior and you start going into things you just don't like. Oh, he believes he's f this world is flat earth. You know what? He can't play basketball. Oh. Like, when the hell do you get oh. those two things the field and marry them? Oh. Behavior Dude, that makes no an sense. indicator of oh. on no, it ain't. success. I don't, know how many, I don't know how many Hall of Famers At you times. play with. Trust me, if the Hall of Fame was based on how they acted, <laughs> it'd be empty up in that sucker. These dudes are different. And here's the thing. I don't mind if Kyrie is not likable. I don't mind if Kyrie is different. But I'm not going to let you slander his game when he steps on that court. Oh, he's an animal. Um, yeah. Here's the thing. Let me say this. Say it. Please. It won't be all please. on KD like it's never on Anybody. LeBron, has it all has it been all on LeBron and he's won a championship? I'll wait. 2016. I, I'll wait. 2016. I'll wait. 2016. I'll wait. 2016. When? 2016. 2016 wasn't came all back on. Down what? What you, who hit came the back shot? Down three, one. Who hit the shot? Who got, got him quiet. It got, got quiet. Him. It's the who point. There's never about just one basketball player saying, I'm going to bring all Even Dirk Nowitzki had to go look around and say, like, hey, Jason Kidd in the building. Uh, uh, Jason Terry in the building. Kidd was 37. Like, like, uh, that's, uh, hey, still out there diamond it up out there. So here's the thing. When you look at Acho's points, he's trying to bring up Kyrie with the Celtics. The same Celtics that underachieved even when they had a big three going back to yesteryear. Oh, the same Celtics that didn't win Different Jack. Coach. But Slick, I want to stand for this. Before Kyrie got there, did they win? Slick, I want to stand for with this. When Kyrie did I'm win. with you, Marcel. After Kyrie Andre, did they win. Where are we win. going? <laughs> That's my point. Let's... So all that said, book it. Heat, Nets, Eastern Conference Finals. Coming up, the Steelers and Browns are...